Governor Newsom's getting shit because he's in Montana or something. And he enacted a policy about, like, you can't, there's going to be no official state business with uh, states that are anti LGBTQ. And yet, he, there he is, vacation. It's kind of, oh. We don't oh. like, I don't like Governor Newsom. He, I think he sucks ass. He voted for Larry Elder. No, oh. I didn't. I didn't vote for Larry Elder. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that kind of <laughs> blasphemous shit on here. I called into his radio show when I was like 18, back when he was just like a daytime. I don't even know. He wasn't like always a conservative talk show host, but he was talking about legal. He's a libertarian. That's what he is. And he was talking about legalizing marijuana. And I was like, I'm bored. I'll call in. And I got on the air and I was like, yeah, I think they should legalize pot. I'm high right now. I can drive. <laughs> That's what you called in. Probably. Do. I think so. I did call into a radio. I, I'm an <laughs> avid talk radio fan and caller inner. I must have been on the radio 30 times. I'm listening. Sometimes you really love someone and they, you know, they don't love you back. That's exciting. It's very exciting. But one, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> one time I called into this late night show. Uh, it was like a Sunday night, and it happened to be just a, a one-off drug addiction program. And uh, I was like 19 or 20 or something, and I was high. And they were talking about very. addiction, and I think they were talking about weed, actually. And I called in, and they are like, Ben from California, what the, you know, and I was like, oh, I smoke pot, and... I think, you know, what you got, I just, I don't remember what the fuck I said, but they ended up convincing me. The guy goes, all right, Ben, I really appreciate your call. Here's what I want you to do. Do you have the pot with you? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And he goes, or I said, yeah, it's in my car. And he goes, um, can you, can you keep us on the phone and go get it? And I was like, yeah, I, I can. So I like walked down and got the weed out of my car and he's talking the whole time. And then he goes, okay, do you have the, do you have the pot? And I said, yeah. And he goes, now, can you can you safely go to the bathroom? Like, are, you, are your parents like, just being super careful? I'm like, yeah, my parents are asleep. Okay, I want you to go into the bathroom, okay? And I'm so high, I have no idea. I'm like, where's this going? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I want you to empty that pot into the toilet. And I go, okay. And I did it. And he goes, did you do it? I said, yeah. And I actually did. I dumped like an eighth of weed into the toilet. And he goes, I want you to flush the toilet. Flushed it, and I was swelling with pride, and I was like, "I'm turning a new leaf." I'm Wait, were you be- calling them because you're like, "Am I addicted to pot?" I think, yeah, I don't remember. I just wanted to talk about it, and they had me flush my weed, <laughs> and it's like I the- did it. <laughs> and then they were like, "Okay, thanks for calling," you know, and they hung up on me, and uh, I felt really good, and I was like, "Damn, okay, cool." And the next day, I was like, "I flushed like sixty bucks worth of pot, sixty dollars worth of pot," because back then, that's how much it was. Way cheaper now, this pot. It's still, it's still probably about sixty for an eighth now. No way. I don't buy pot. Yeah, but <laughs> me neither. I don't even I don't touch this stuff. You don't. That's like the worst. Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that's like the worst version of Sleepless in Seattle I've ever heard. What was Sleepless in Seattle? You ever seen Sleepless in Seattle? You seen it? No. Sorry. The Meg Ryan Tom Hanks movie. I haven't seen a lot of movies. I mean, I haven't seen it in like 20 years, you old fart. <laughs> this guy's Okay, Grandpa, why don't you tell us what it's about? <laughs> what, are you going to tell us about You've Got Mail next? I actually, I do love the Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan movies. And There's, there's a, only two. No, there's a third. What's it called? Get, it's The third one is the best one. It's actually the first one, too. What? It's called Joe versus the Volcano. Oh, yeah. It's so cool. But that sounds like a sh- I don't know about that. He basically his son, his wife dies. Uh-huh. The son's mother. Who kills her? <laughs> Tom. That's kind of the fucked up part at the end. No of the way. No, no, no. Oh, wait. You shouldn't give away the ending. It's a oh. you, you can give no, no, it. No, no. I won't give away the ending. I won't give away the ending. I'll just tell, like the plot is basically that the son starts calling this late night radio oh. host because he can't sleep, oh. and he's like. That's why it's Sleepless in Seattle, because you know how they give callers anonymous names? Oh, yeah. They're like, we have Sleepless in Seattle back on. Uh, so she's uh, talking about how, like, I think he's talking about my dad's lonely, blah, blah, blah. And 
the sun gives this nice picture of this man. So you have women all over the country, like swooning after like sleepless in Seattle. They're like, Oh, he's probably so hot. Blah. And, <clears throat> and he ends up getting on the phone at times being like, you know, stop calling, letting my son call in, blah, blah, blah. And, she, and they're like, <laughs> yes. they're like, I want you to get, you know, they're oh, like, Rob Reiner's in it. but Meg Ryan falls for this guy and she feels so compelled to meet him. Parasocial relationship. And Man. she fucking like flies across the country. She's yeah. engaged. Oh no. Oh, this is I know, psycho. Dude, that's crazy. That's the, there you rewatch like romantic comedies and you're like, this so these bad. people need to fucking get treatment. This yeah. is insane. Leads to distortions in reality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. tell you what, if someone flew in here from Denver to follow me, I'd be I wouldn't be like, well, it's just Denver. I'd be like, you're no, I'm freaked out. Yeah. If you drove to stalk me, I'd be like freaked yeah driving is way further <laughs> remember or that way remember that astronaut yeah who... the diaper lady oh amazing man give her a break she's sufficient man i don't know anything that you all are talking about <laughs> <laughs> you don't know about the astronaut diaper lady no okay so she i didn't know about sleepless in seattle i don't know about weed there was this there was this woman who was an astro a legit nasa astronaut and she got wronged by her lover or yeah. something but he lived in another state. So she was committed to driving to him to, to confront him. To confront him. And the drive was gonna be like seventeen hours or like something. Longer, like that. I think. It was like so <laughs> to to get there maximum time or as quickly as possible, she wore diapers. Oh shit. Okay. So she would oh. yeah, oh shit is right. So she would <laughs> shit and piss in the diapers. So she shows up to confront oh. her lover. Just full of piss. And no, she took off the <laughs> I don't diaper think so. first. I don't think so. I think she, she jumped, had to. jumped out of the car. <laughs> 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 and he's like, oh my God. Uh, Lucy in the sky. They made a movie about it? That rocks. Natalie Portman stars in it. Oh no! my God. Put her in the diaper. Why would they do that? They make movies about everything. Yeah, it's an interesting yeah, story. Yeah, but not this one. I can't wait to get back to Earth. <laughs> to confront my... <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh, man. I bet it's a movie about mental health. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to sound so crass about mental health. Uh, listen, I take Lexapro, okay? I've, He's uh, allowed to say it. Yeah, yeah I'm allowed right. to say it. I got yeah. OCD and depression. Well, not anymore because the Lexapro. It's just there, but it's, you know, it's contained. Under this is now yeah. just a big pharma ad. <laughs> I, 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 I take vitamins. Oh, nice. Which oh, one? Yes. Um, apple cider vinegar. <laughs> yeah. With the mother? What? 